Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. The NFL Draft is still more than three months away, but LSU underclassmen are reaching decisions. So here with more is LSU beat writer Jim Klein-Peter. Hello, Jim. Hi, Rachel. Well, defensive end Daniil Hunter makes three Tiger defenders leaving early with linebacker Quan Alexander and defensive back Jalen Collins. Uh, but Hunter has been tabbed as a second round pick at best uh, by, by a lot of draft experts. Uh, so what's your take on Hunter deciding to declare early? Well, he had a, a bit of a breakout year. He wasn't a great pass rusher. He didn't have a lot of sacks, uh, one and a half sacks, but he had 13 tackles for loss. I think you can see him coming. This is a guy who really needed to stay around uh, another year. He he probably would have moved into the first round with a with a with a good season as as rushing the quarterback, which he would have done better because. He needed to get stronger. Uh, he was going to be playing under a new defensive quarter and maybe coordinator, and maybe that's why he decided to go. Uh, he didn't know what that would do. Uh, he might as well play for a new defensive coordinator in the NFL. But um, uh, Daniil uh, showed uh, he was obviously, I think he was one, the best defensive player, uh, the one with the most promise and would have had a, a really good season next year. He doesn't have enough upper body strength just yet. He doesn't have a... a he doesn't quite understand how to play with his hands and, and, and use his arms, although he has he has long arms, and, and they will come in handy. He's going to uh, have to learn at an accelerated rate in the NFL if he's going to make any kind of a difference. But he's, he's got such good speed and instincts and quickness that he can probably play on special teams in the NFL. Right, great point. And he did lead LSU, like you mentioned, in tackles for loss with those 13. So really a breakout season. So we'll see if going to the NFL is a good decision for him. Now, let's shift to LSU's early enrollees who will be on campus Wednesday for classes. And we see on the screen they are running back David Ducre, quarterback Justin McMillan, tight end Hannah Shipley, and cornerbacks Kevin Tolliver and Jeremy Cotrere. Now, quarterback is always a key position at LSU, and you know McMillan comes from a pass-focused offense in Texas, which could spark the Tigers and Ducre at running back. We know that's a position that's not as deep uh, for next season. So, what sticks out to you the most, though, Jim, in this group? Well, I think the the two cornerbacks are going to have a. a a good chance to to move up and and, and make some noise. Uh, Jalen Collins is gone. It's one of LSU's starters. We don't know what the status of Rashard Robinson is going to be, if he's going to be able to participate in spring or if he's even going to be on the team next year. Um, so there are... Uh, there's some openings there for a second and a th for a second and third quarterback. Dwayne Thomas is coming off an injury, and um, Ed Paris is the next man up uh, as far as the uh, the holdovers. But these two guys, Tolliver and Cotrere, are both uh, uh, nice sized uh, cornerbacks with great speed, good athletes. Uh, Kevin Tolliver is a guy that uh, I don't think LSU signed as, as good a player as him since, uh, uh, as, as, at least on defense, uh, since Patrick Peterson. He's that type. He's that good. He could be as good as Patrick Peterson one day, maybe. Um, and then and the same with Cotrere, who is who's coming in as a junior. He's a junior college transfer. Uh, spring is a good place. It's it's good time for them to be coming in. Right, no doubt there. And National Signing Day is rapidly approaching on February 4th, so recruiting talk will not go away anytime soon. Well, Jim, thanks so much. We'll talk to you again soon. My pleasure, Rachel. And tune in this week for more on top basketball signee Ben Simmons and SEC Hoops. Thanks for watching.